Well, hey, McFly subscribers. So I have something a little different for you all. This is going to be an unboxing. Figured I'd show you all my stickers on my desk. By the way, I do sell these. Risen sells theirs. Um, anytime you buy a fly, um, a couple flies from me, I usually include a sticker. So you can, if you want some of those, you can either buy flies from me or just let me know and I'll sell you some stickers. But I've got an unboxing for you. And if any of you guys know what Boker Plus is, you would know that this is most likely a knife, which it is. I don't do knife reviews. I do fly fishing uh, stuff. Tie flies on camera and all that. You all know what I do. But I thought I'd do something different because I got something really special in the mail today. Now, I've been waiting for this for like nine months. This has been on back order for so long. I saw it when it first came out and I placed an order right away. And then it took this long for me to get. It's been like nine months, but wow, guys, this is amazing. Now, I call this an unboxing. I did open it just to make sure everything was fine in it. So I've seen this already, but I haven't really gotten to hold it. I haven't taken it out of the plastic or anything. So let's see. Boy, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Now there's a little bit of like oil here. I don't know what that's all about. Looks like they kind of oiled it, I guess, a lot when they packaged it just to make sure that it's not going to rust or anything. Although this is VG10, which is very corrosion resistant, so it shouldn't rust. But if you guys see that, I think most of you that watch my channel, at least the freshwater fishermen, would know what that is. We are looking at a brook trout pattern. And that's what this is called. This is a Boker Plus brook. That's what this knife is. And boy, it's gorgeous. It is a fixed blade knife. It's got some really deep, kind of very grippy, surprisingly grippy, chimping gear. So you can do some light work. The handle is just gorgeous, smooth. <clears throat> but there's some nice uh, swells in it. So it's not, it's not going to like slip out of your hand. It might if it's really wet. There's not like a whole lot of, um, not a lot of grip, but sometimes that's nice. It is smooth. It's easier to deal with. And then you've got the chimping here, so it's not going to really slide. It comes pretty darn sharp out of the box. I'm probably going to touch that up a little bit because just like any factory edge, I can always get it a little better. I've never had a factory edge that was perfect right out of the box. But boy, is that gorgeous. I got it just because of that handle. It's so nice. So nice. And then, of course, it comes with a little sheath. And I'm, boy, what a nice box, too. I was surprised at the size because I knew this is a small little knife. It's not very big. I'll put all the stats in the description section here of, you know, blade length and thickness of the of the blade and all that but it comes with a nice little sheath now i don't think this is kydex i think this is plastic to be honest but locks in there pretty good it's not going to come out it doesn't seem as positive as some other knives that i've had where it just kind of like a click you can kind of hear the audible click. This, it's, you know, there's a little bit. There's a little click. It kind of, yeah, okay. It's there. It's just, it feels, it's not quite as solid, but again, for the price. Now, guys, you got to realize this is, this might seem pricey to some of you, but for knives, especially something higher quality like VG10, but the, this is G10 scales with, look, look at all these beautiful inlays. That's brass washers and then they inlay different colors in it and all these are brass <clears throat> i mean it's done really really well the handle just gorgeous two-tone orange and olive i mean i honestly guys uh, for the price this is a really good knife um so there's a few things like this being plastic and not kydex it's not going to be perfect um so, you know, you're, you, that's how they save a little money. I bought this back when it was 
$89.99. Now they're going for $120, I think $119.99. Um, but I had bought it back then, paid that price. Still didn't ship until now, but I had pre-ordered it. But yeah, that's what these cost. They're $120, which does seem pricey, but I mean, it's gorgeous, guys. It's really nice. I wish this was cut down a little smaller. It doesn't need to be that wide. <clears throat> a lot of gap here. They could have brought that down quite a bit to here. Could have had a smaller sheath. This does not need to be that big. It just takes up a lot of room <clears throat> for a very small little knife. But this is perfect, I think, for backpacking. And <clears throat> if you guys do a lot of fishing out, out in the kind of wilderness area and you're you do any kind of backpack and stay a night or two I mean this is really nice I think this would really be good to have with you there this kind of a bird and trout style knife got some nice ability to skin there it's got a nice little belly some good chimping to hold up onto and plus just gorgeous to look at so it's kind of nice to have I mean you know it's almost perfect for Excerpts out in the wilderness when you're trout fishing looking for brookies to have your little brookie uh, Knife with you. So if you guys ever ever do that kind of Fishing where you're just out for a couple day a uh, couple nights sleeping in a backpack doing fishing or Or even just the day you just need a knife with you while while you're going just in case You need it. Um, I always like to have a knife with me as backup whether or not it's a pocket knife like like my Hogue, which I love by the way. Love this. Great little pocket knife. Super balanced. But <clears throat> I always have something with me almost all the time unless I can't wherever I go. Like if I'm going into, I don't know, some kind of building that doesn't allow it. <clears throat> but I've always got a pocket knife on me. But it's nice to have a fixed blade as well, especially if you're doing longer excursions. So I think... Um, I'm gonna be taking this out fishing for sure so if you guys like this video please hit the like button and subscribe if you have not already if you're just coming on to see the review of this knife and you're not familiar with what my channel is about I do fly fishing um, fly fishing and fly tying so if you like that as well please uh, subscribe check out my videos I've got some very high quality fly tying videos and I also film myself going out and fishing and which are fun. Um, I, lately I moved to Texas. I've been doing a lot of redfish fishing, but I've got quite a few videos of some trout and you know backcountry brook trout fishing. So check those out. Comment if you want. Um, let me know what you think of this knife and the review. It's not a review. This is an unboxing. It's not a whole lot of details on it. If you guys actually want a full review of this after I've used it a little bit, to give you a little more uh, in-depth look of what I think of it, how it holds up, how the edge holds up, and all that, then you let me know. I will try to see if I can do that for you guys. So, And guys, if you guys want me to do more unboxing or reviews on knives um, or any other kind of gear, then let me know as well. Um, for any of my subscribers that constantly watch the channel and the fly fishing stuff, I know you guys like those videos, so let me know if you guys are interested in this kind of stuff as well. I can try to add this to the channel or maybe make a separate channel just on uh, reviews of other gear, if that makes sense. So outdoor stuff, which I like. I like outdoor stuff. I like hunting, fishing. I could definitely do some reviews on some knives and guns and <clears throat> backpacking gear and stuff like that. So you let me know. Anyway, I will see you guys on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.